Before you do a factory reset on an AVA remote, you should know about resetting AVA OS. If you just want to practice setups, run an experiment, or remove a project from a remote so you can set up a new project on a nano brain, you don't need a whole factory reset. You can just reset AVA OS. This process clears the AVA OS configuration from a remote control. It does not clear a project from a nano brain. After you see the process, it's really quick. There are a couple more things to be aware of. Start from Settings and go to System. Tap Configure AVA OS. Tap Reset AVA OS. Confirm. And now you can set up AVA OS on the remote as needed. This process resets AVA OS on just this one remote. It won't affect other remotes in the project, nor any nano brains. It also does not change the Android operating system. This is really important. The remote remains logged in to the same Google account as when you set it up. The remote keeps its Wi-Fi networks. Any apps that you downloaded and configured are also unaffected. Resetting AVA OS just clears the remote's AVA OS configuration. The rest of the Android operating system remains intact. So save the factory reset process for those times when you want to completely erase a remote. Apps, Wi-Fi, Google account, everything. Most of the time, resetting AVA OS is a lot faster. Oh look, more videos! Pick one to learn even more.